Hello, welcome to the AWC Automation Channel. My name is Alan Sabian. In this video, we'll continue the intro to TI Portal series with adding and configuring devices. From the project view, select Add New Device. From this pop-up, you can select the device you would like to add and configure. The tiles you see here on the left may be different for you as they depend on the software components you have installed on your computer. In our example, let's add an unspecified S7-1200 CPU. Using this method is especially helpful if you are connecting to a PLC without knowing the part number or firmware. Note that you can change the device name. This will become helpful in the future as your projects contain more devices. Once your PLC is added, you can choose Detect for the software to communicate to the connected PLC and determine both the part number and the firmware version. To do this, open the device view for the unspecified CPU by selecting Device Configuration. Then select Detect. This is your online interface. I'm using Profinet Industrial Ethernet and my network interface card. This may vary slightly for you. Click Start Search. The computer is going out and finding the information of the device. So once it's done that, we can select Detect. This will bring in the part number and the firmware for the PLC. This may take a moment. Once your PLC's configuration has been brought into the project, you can highlight it in the device view. Then in the general tab, you will find both configurable settings for your device as well as information about the device itself. I won't describe those properties for you in this video as they will change for each device based on its hardware and capabilities. For this example, we will keep the IP address as the default 192.168.01 with a subnet of 255.255.255.0. You can find this parameter under Profinet, Ethernet addresses, and in this window to the right. Save your project and download to the device. You will notice that when you search for the PLC again, this time it will find an IP address. It assigned that IP address temporarily so it can transfer data about the PLC's configuration. Click load. Click load again. Then make sure to start your PLC after downloading. Then click finish. This concludes the basic setup of a PLC. For further assistance, products, or training, please contact us at 1 800 AWC Info or www.awc-inc.com. We are here to help.